This is a great story you're about to hear. You could call him Santa's helper, a Georgia man giving strangers a helping hand this Christmas by paying their power bills to help them stay warm this winter. So what inspired him to help all these strangers? Joining us now this Christmas morning is the Good Samaritan himself, Steve Astrab. Steve, it's so good of you to join us uh, this morning, especially at this Christmas time. And uh, tell me what inspires you to do what you do, and that's pay the bills of so many people who need this. Now, my, my wife, who I love very dearly, died uh, almost coming up on three years ago now. And uh, when she passed away, I'd already set aside money for, uh, for her Christmas presents, and I tried to think of something I could do that she would, she would appreciate. And we, uh, we both hated being cold, and so it seemed the right thing to do to help people pay their power bills so that they could stay warm during Christmas. Well, I'm sure your lovely wife is uh, looking down and smiling because of the great things that you're doing. And she's probably rem reminiscing about all those precious memories that she had with you on this earth. Uh, tell me, uh, you, you guys were actually stationed for a while overseas, is that right? Oh, we were. Uh, all told, I did probably 11 years in the Middle East uh, out of 27 years in the Army. And my wife was able to be there for almost five of those years. Uh, the rest of the time, it were, they were unaccompanied uh, uh, missions, so uh, she stayed here in the States. But yes, we, we spent a lot of time together and, and much of it overseas. Steve, uh, it's just quite a fitting tribute that you're paying not only to her, but also to the spirit of Christmas. Uh, tell me, what is it about your wife that in, inspired your life to give so freely to others? Oh gosh, she, she was just a, a giving person, uh, a preacher's kid. Uh, uh, when she was still alive, we had a, a lot of uh, stuffed animals, and she didn't know what to do with them, so we got them all cleaned up and, and took dozens of them to the uh, local fire department so they'd have those to pass out to kids who were in, in trouble or had, uh, had issues at home. Uh, working with churches, uh, she was just a very giving person, and it was actually her example that uh, inspired me to try to be a better person. You know, I, I, look, I, I got to get right to the point. And, and all this stuff that's going on in the world today, all the, the violence, the mayhem and confusion and, and people just shouting at each other. I, I like the fact that you cut right through the din of all that noise and you go right for the heart by helping people where they need it the most. And that's in their heart. Yeah, I really appreciate that. And I, I agree. It's, it's, it's a dangerous world out there. And, and any time you can can help folks out. It, it's a it's a good thing. If uh, if someone's cold, they can't think of anything else besides being warm, and so that's a that's a good start. Steve, what what can we learn from? I, I know you don't do it to to be shown and displayed. You, these are acts of kindness that you've done randomly and uh, until now rather anonymously. What can you tell us, or, or what would you like to see the world do uh, in terms of following your example and paying tribute not only to your wife but to God and serving our fellow man? Oh, gosh. They, for me, you don't have to look very far to find people who need help. Just look around your neighborhood or in your town. Uh, help them whenever you can. It doesn't have to be anything big. Just smiling or shaking their hand or, or being encouraging to them is, is a helpful thing. And people appreciate that. And as awful as the news sometimes seems with international events, people are basically, basically good. And if, you, if you're kind to them and, and, uh, and try to help them out, they do appreciate it. You know, that's really something, you remind me of the saying, what is it, uh, people don't know how much you, uh, they don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. And uh, <laughs> certainly what you're doing is actually showing them that you care. And so you're bringing a lot of smiles, a lot of faces, especially uh, this reporter and anchor right now, uh, because you've brightened my day, was giving us some, some hope this morning. Well, thank you. And it, it, I, I get much more out of it than I give. I, I, I feel really good about what I do, and I'm going to keep on doing it. <laughs> Keep on doing it. Uh, hopefully we can join you. Steve Astram, thank you. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. God bless you. And to you, too. Wow. Thank you. What a great story. There is hope in the world. Come